Esports in general is a male dominated space and even to this day it still is. But for the past few decades we've seen more and more women enter the esports scene from games such as League, CSGO and even Apex Legends. But in today's video I'm going to go through Valorant's very own game changer scene. Every year there are hundreds and thousands of new players that enter the Valorant competitive scene but most of them are male as the game has a larger male demographic. But unlike other games Valorant has a large female player base meaning that there are people willing and ready to compete in the highest level. And so we got introduced to the Valorant game changers. The gaming industry has historically been male dominated. While there certainly have been female gamers and professionals, they've often been marginalized and overlooked. This is due to the part of the culture of the gaming industry, which has been characterized by sexism, misogyny, and harassment. Female gamers are often subjected to harassment and abuse, both online and offline, simply because of their gender. This has created a hostile environment for many women in the gaming community and has discouraged many from pursuing a career in esports. But the question is, why does a separate league exist? Doesn't the VCT already exist so why don't they just play in the VCT along with the other teams? And what is the Game Changers exactly? Well, the Game Changers is a program that Riot essentially made to create new opportunities for women and other marginalized genders within the game. The Game Changers is subdivided into two sections, the VCT Game Changers series and the VCT Changers Academy. Both of these seek to create more opportunities for women to compete at professional, semi-pro and grassroots levels. Riot believes that the Game Changers will be an important next step in creating a competitive scene for Valorant with its diverse player base. The VCT Game Changers has an audience which nobody ever thought it could ever garner over a such short period of time. Their last international tournament saw a peak viewership of 240,000 views at a time when Shopify Rebellion played against G2 Gozen in the final. Hunter gifted. No way bro. The reverse sweep? No. No, 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 no. Turn it off. Let them celebrate it. With a 5 million hour watch time, it clearly shows that there is an audience that is eager in supporting the game changer scene and that it's here to stay and thrive with the new and upcoming talent. But why does such a league exist in the first place if the VCT already exists? Can they just play along with the other franchise teams or compete in the VCT Ascension League? To answer this question, yes, they've played in the VCT a couple of times, but found it really hard to make past tier 2 or tier 3 male dominated teams. But there is a reason. Ideally, the org or the game seeks to create a friendly yet competitive environment between the genders. But oftentimes, a lot of things in the game are overlooked and it leads to toxicity and the creation of sexist comments. The Game Changer seeks to create a safe space for them. This is an initiative designed to provide experience and a spotlight to elevate the women in the Valorant competitive community. Competing in games as a woman can be a daunting task, oftentimes resulting in a very real competitive disadvantage. And while we are taking steps to address this in-game with improvements to things like chat and voice comms and griefing, we think there's another really cool step we can take with esports. But it can't just be the toxicity in the game, right? If we look into the root problems, it just comes down to the numbers. Lesser female players equals lesser female pros equals finding it hard to make a successful roster in the long run. While many orgs in Valorant are spending hundreds and thousands of dollars to keep the scene alive, it's gonna take some time. But that's a long-term investment which will not only help the game to survive, but will also create dreams for young girls around the world who seek to go and play pro. The VCT game changers seek to tackle the root problem. As with other games and society in general, gaming is generally looked down upon, with people not being able to visualize the potential it has despite the gender. And on top of that, society often looks down at women-only esports rosters as it's something new to the scene. But with time, things are changing, and with Riot creating these young tournaments for young talent, a large number of female players are attracted to pursue esports as a career, which means a larger female player base equals more rosters and eventually a successful team. So why does a separate league exist? While the goal of the VCT Game Changers is to eventually join with the main VCT event, for now it focuses on winning smaller battles, such as creating a pool of audience and players who are ready and invested into the female scene. The existence of Valorant Game Changers has also sparked important conversations about the state of diversity and representation in the gaming industry. The tournament has brought attention to the issue of sexism and misogyny in the gaming community and has encouraged more people to speak out against it. The tournament has also highlighted the need for more 
diversity and representation in esports and has helped to bring attention to the many talented female players who have been overlooked or marginalized in the past. Despite the many benefits of the Game Changers tournament, there are still those who argue that it's unnecessary or even harmful. Some have even suggested that creating a separate tournament for female gamers reinforces the idea that women are not equal to men in the gaming community. Others have argued that the tournament is unfair to male gamers who are excluded from the competition. However, these arguments miss the point of the Game Changers tournament. The tournament was not created to suggest that women are inferior to men or to exclude the male gamers. Rather, it was created to address the very real issues of sexism and misogyny in the gaming community and to provide a platform for female gamers to showcase their skills and talents. So far, it's proven to be successful and with the Valorant esports scene gaining momentum in the market, it's attracting content creators such as Toast and Ludwig who have invested into their teams in the Game Changer scene. Uh, if you don't know, CLG Red uh, is CLG's women's uh, teams and they have a specific uh, women's Valorant team it's been leaked already on Twitter if you haven't seen it. Uh, and and we're going to sign them. We're going to sign them for, for one tournament. Um, uh, Emily, who's who's uh, one of the players on the team, reached out to me, said, hey, we kind of we kind of want to, we just want to like feel good. We don't want to like enter a tournament the same week that we've been let go from CLG. They're literally at CLG scrimming and doing all of their matches together in person. So it's, it's kind of sad. And, and so we're going to help out. This is a beginning and it's already looking pretty promising. As a community, we should not only support the Game Changers scene, but also be part of the new cause. By simply watching one Game Changers match, you are not only contributing to the scene, but indirectly supporting the future generations of the female pros who wish to hit the international stage someday. I hope this video answered your question. Make sure to follow my Twitter. I just made one. I'm Bussy and thank you for watching this video. Peace. It's like she's just staring at the camera at all times. I, I, I just absolutely love it.